Hello, dear viewer. My name is Matt. This is Stock Speed Run number two for the weekend of April 23rd, 2022. If you're unfamiliar with what a Stock Speed Run is, you can always check this video description for an explanation and a disclaimer as to its content. Let's go. I'm going to guess this is a Brazilian company just based on the name of it. Yes. And actually, well... Okay, I, I actually, so I made that guess based on the general language seems to be used here and the fact that there seems to be a lot of Brazilian companies, a surprising amount of Brazilian companies listed on the NYSE for some reason, but I actually didn't see the fact that they say right here, Brazil, so. Yes, uh, distribution of electricity in Brazil. They generate electricity through hydroelectric, thermal, nuclear, wind, solar plants. Own and operated 31 hydroelectric. Seven thermal plants, uh, two nuclear power plants. Cool, I cool. I like nuclear. Uh, okay, cool. So something I see here. What? What the hell is going on? This is what? What? <laughs> okay, here, here, here's why I'm confused here. Revenues go up. That's always nice. Why? Why are the margins getting worse? And significantly worse to the point where, as revenues go up, earnings actually end up going down. What the fu- what the- you know what? I shouldn't curse. Uh, what the hell's going on here? And no, hell is not a curse. I will argue- I will argue with you on that. Uh... That is so- even- even in the quarterly chart you could see it, kind of. As revenues go up, earnings go down. I want to see what this chart looks like. They've been around since 08. That's a hell of a year to become public, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. And they've kind of... They've had a rough time in 2013, 2014, 2015, going into 2016. A little bit of a recovery, not by much. And they've kind of been languishing since then. You can make the argument there is a slight hint. Slight hint of a very... Slight, slight, upward, slight trend, slight, slight, during the last five, six, maybe even seven years. But again, very slight. Because it's mostly just kind of been going up and down. But like, just as you see here, you know, there's low, every time, it, every time it drops, like this drop, this drop, these drops, this drop, the low is always higher than the previous low. That's the, more or less the only reason why I say slight uptrend here. And I kind of wonder if it's reacting to the fact that these annual numbers are looking super weird. I want to see their last report. $14 billion sale nears make or break point. What is this? State controlled power utility Electrobras. Is that this? Uh, Electrobras. Elect Electrobras! I'm just gonna call it that from now on because I find that funny. The power utility Electrobras was waiting for a key ruling that could allow the government to move forward with the company's long awaited privatization plan. I like privatization. Uh, I like privatization very much. Not a fan of this. Am a fan of this. Seeking to privatize Electrobras through a capital increase in which a state's stake would end up uh, diluted. Effectively giving up control of the Rio de Janeiro based firm while retaining some veto rights. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Common shares of Electrobras, currently worth $14.55 at the time of. Wait, what? No, they're not. Or is this. No, this is, this is Brazil money. I think. When was this published? April 19th, 2022? Just a couple days ago. What the hell are you talking about, 1455? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought they were quoting, quoting what it is now. It says shares could be worth. Uh, this much the privatization is successful. 
according to estimates by Goldman. But apparently it's been, uh, stalled, maybe? Otherwise, why is this article here? The sale, however, is hardly a done deal. There you go. Despite recent rebound, shares are still around 12% below their all-time intraday high, reflecting some skepticism about whether privatization will advance. I have to hold, uh, hold the share sale before volatility kicks in ahead of the October presidential election. Yeah. A little bit of a, little bit of a time crunch. The offering doesn't occur by May 13th. I'm doing this on April 24th. So they have not a whole lot of time left. We need to update the sales prospectus with first quarter results. It remains a binary case with more upside that can only be unlocked under a successful privatization in, a few, in, a, in the next few months. Yes, I uh, again, I like privatization. Uh, I can see why that would make the, the shares of this go up, but it seems like it's questionable whether or not that deal is going to go through uh, in a timely fashion. Actually, why did they say May 13th? Because they will need to update the sales prospectus with first quarter results, delaying the operation to the third quarter, closer to the election. Why is that? One of the court's ministers could request more time to review the matter. Why would missing May 13th and thus having to update the prospectus with first quarter results mean that it would need to delay then to the third quarter? Like if it's if it said here delay to the second quarter, then I can kind of see that making sense because Maybe they don't want to do it in between quarters or something, but why the third quarter? I don't I don't understand that. That is very strange. Fear fresh delay. And you know what? Now that uh now that I know that this isn't technically a private company, it is state owned, these numbers kind of make a little more sense because maybe maybe the state. I mean, is Brazil in a financial crisis? I don't know if they are. But if they are, then I can easily explain away these numbers by the fact that the state is siphoning money away from this away from this corporation. On a new license prices, profit plunges on provisions for electricity loan litigation. Let me see that. After it reported third quarter net income of nine uh, fifty million uh, fifty million dollars, down sixty six percent year on year. Now, net income, that is a quarterly Hold on a second. Uh eh, not th this currency is going to be in these. I know it because I know Yahoo. 965 no 65 I don't see 965. November seventeenth. I guess. I guess. I guess it really is talking about third quarter, because nine twenty three to nine sixty five. Yeah. Okay. I guess I can kind of see those numbers working out in, but you know, sometimes it's off by a little bit. Definitely not fourth quarter. Fourth quarter with its own thing, because sometimes Yahoo misaligns these. Sometimes what they call quarter four will actually be quarter three for the company, and it gets kind of confusing. Uh, but no, this is literally quarter three. Was quarter three the last one they reported, though? I don't see quarter four. Uh, I don't see a next earnings date, either. But it looks like, as this article said, they are waiting for quarter one. So I guess they did, so I guess they did report quarter four. I don't see it here. I don't see it here for some reason. It's, uh, it's kind of strange. So I feel like the entire decision on this one is hinged upon if that privatization deal is going to go through. And it seems like they're it seems like they're getting pretty close to the deadline. I it doesn't seem like they're going to make it, and I can definitely see their point about they don't want to wait until closer to an election and account for volatility. Man, get man, get out of here with your advertisements. In non-ice cream terms, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. That means creating a strong financial foundation. Oh, this guy's 
guys advertising shit also. Over eight now, hoping this privatization will go through. Even if it doesn't, it's still a pretty darn cheap stock. Well, sure? I guess, but it's been a cheap stock. You can argue it's been a cheap stock for... the last nine years. So that, that point is kind of is kind of dumb. Actually, you know what I want to see? I want to see... I want to see price to earnings. Actually, 11.20 is not bad. I would like to see some kind of forward estimate. Uh, book value... 48? Well, they're in, they're an energy generation company, a lot of plants and land and stuff. I guess that kind of makes sense. They would have a lot of assets that would add up to a book value of 48.52. But again, I feel like the fact that they are state owned is um not allowing the potential for for this and many other things to be priced in. Uh it's got it's got those locked up a bit. Uh let's see. What do I want to what what do I want to look up? Um I can't really think... I mean, the only thing I want to look up is any more opinion pieces about whether or not they think this deal is going to go through. So, uh... Electrobras... I can't spell. Oh, no, wait, I can't spell. Uh... Privatization. Ooh, wait, nope! Hold on, I think we got updates. Was this was, was this here in these articles? But I but I didn't see it. No, no, I don't think so. But no, this was two days ago, April twenty second. That was this past Friday. What do they say here? Uh, is now set to happen in July. So they are not going to make that 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 May. De so this is this is what I was wondering before. In this article here, where no, it wasn't this one. It was this one. They were talking about May. Which is the one that was talking about May? That's this one here, yes. Yeah, I don't understand why they're talking about May and then that would mean delaying to the third quarter. Because if they miss May, it seems like they're just going to do it in July now, which definitely is not third quarter. The Federal Audit, uh, audit Court TZ postponed for 20, day, 20 days approval of the move. Uh, actually, this mentioned... At TCU's Wednesday session, one of the course ministers could request more time to review the matter, and it sounds like that's exactly what happened. They gave 20 more days, and it is now scheduled to happen in July. Asked for another 60 days to further study the plan, but other members of court reduced the delay to 20 days. Okay, so it's still, uh, we believe without a doubt, without a <laughs> doubt that it can take place by July this year. Uh, who is who is quoted here as saying that? Is those elections of the success? The minister stressed, so the minister, I don't have a name here. Oh, companies, mines and energy minister, Bento Alba, really, Albuquerque? That's his name? All right. I mean, I guess that name had to come from somewhere. It's a person's name, of course it is. So, Bento Albuquerque uh, has said that we believe, without a doubt, that it can take place by July this year. I think a lot of people are going to hold him to those words, so I certainly hope he knows what he's talking about. Their slip are up 44%. Uh, did it have a bump on this news? No, not really. If anything, you can argue it fell on it. Well, actually, you know what? That depends, because I see it's up after hours from Friday. Was this announced, uh... No, this wasn't after hours. This was... This was midday that this came out. This was known by... This was known by the end of the day. Maybe... Uh, people just didn't... Get around to learning about it until later that later that evening. I would like to think this after hours bump is tied to is tied to this decision. 
So you know what? I'm actually feeling a little more... I'm gonna... I'm gonna hold... Alright, tell you what. I am going to put this as a buy. Solely hinged on the fact that I am taking the minister, Bento Albuquerque, at his word. That he believes that without a doubt, with no doubt, in this man's head, he thinks this can happen. And based on that, based on his word, I'm going by his word. So if this call ends up being wrong, then you can go ahead and blame Mr. Albuquerque, not me. So based on his word, I'm going to give this a buy. And saying that he says it's going to go private, so I think it's going to go private, and it can have potentially uh, fantastic returns and a wonderful, bright future uh, to come ahead of it. But again, if I'm wrong, then go complain to Mr. Albuquerque. Not to me. And I'll see you in the next one.